you're going to come over and show off. Yeah. And then he walked there, but I could never see it. The thing is, you can just keep on building tree stands everywhere. Yes. Hello everyone, welcome back. As some of you may already know, our friends Greg and Katie yeah. from this off-grid life visited us at the end of April, so we had a chance to show them around the property. We had so much fun exploring the back country, and I cannot wait to do that again. It was so nice having you guys over and thank you Katie for the cute Sarama chicks. I just can't get enough of them. I also got 10 barnyard mixed chicks from a local farmer. Good morning everybody. It's the first weekend of May and we have so many things to do today and a lot of uh, things that are waiting for me in the greenhouse um, I will have to transplant or repot all my tomatoes it's not that sunny but it's warm which is good good boy Raven you're gonna stay there as you can see the door is here and you have to go up and down this uh, hill to go to the ground so you have to go down the door and then go up again <laughs> so but that's not gonna change until next year so I have to just deal with that Philip will not focus on uh, finishing the greenhouse his focus right now is completing the RV structure roof the gambrel roof his goal is to finish it in a week, to finish the roof, install the metal roof before dry season or let's call it wildfire season. As you can see, I have all my tomato seedlings here, 132 that I still have to transplant. Six bags of tomatoes that I already repotted and I uh, put them here. On April 19th when it's still below freezing at night outside but they survived because the greenhouse stayed at 2 degrees just gonna have to add the, the trellis so when I transplant the rest I can just place them or position them in their uh, temporary uh, spot so the greenhouse will just stay like this this season it's not gonna be permanent we're gonna have to build the beds but we don't know yet because we cannot remove these braces it's gonna stay like that for a while until Philip is ready to start working on the greenhouse again so uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna install the trellis it's complicated because of all the <laughs> The braces it's gonna be a challenge to come here and water but I'm gonna make it work because <laughs> uh, this is what we have right now and I have to deal with it so I'm sure it's gonna work as long as my vegetables are gonna survive and will be able to harvest a lot by the end of the season that's more important than dealing with uh, challenges but what are you doing? Are you going to help me? Huh? This, I got this last year from Amazon. I think most people use this kind of uh, trellis for tomatoes. This cut has nothing better to do. 
<gasps> Be careful, bud. Okay, so I'm going to head out now. I was able to set up the trellis for the six tomatoes that's already in the bag. I'm gonna start transplanting the rest and other vegetables that needs to go in the greenhouse like cucumbers, a lot of squash, watermelon, <laughs> melon. So I still don't know how I'm gonna put them all in the greenhouse. I will have to do my best to uh, try to fit them all here. Philip said I cannot really hang anything yet and he's not sure if this will be strong enough so I don't want to force it. Let's go. We're gonna close it a little bit because it's so windy. By the way, <sighs> do you like my haircut? I cut it myself because I don't have time to go to town just for a haircut. I normally cut my own hair, which is so easy, <laughs> and I don't have I don't have to spend thirty dollars for it. So, and I'm tired of putting my hair up. And it's summer, so it's gonna grow uh, fast. Okay, <sighs> I just want to show you uh, how I'm transplanting my tomatoes. I have a composted uh, chicken manure that I put at the bottom of the bags and then add some soil. And by the way, this soil is from, I think uh, we ordered them in the fall, sometime in October. We ordered a truckload of garden soil or topsoil but they're not just your regular topsoil they're mixed mushroom manure we put some cast worm castings as well not sure but it's mixed with different good stuff so I don't really um, add much in my soil I just added more chicken manure and then I may add some bone meal. I'm not sure if I still have some from last year. But I don't want to buy more of that. Because uh, I think it's okay anyway if you don't add any of that stuff. So that's all I do. And try to plant them as deep as I can. So the soil will be up to here. Anyway, let's continue. Hi, Bun. Bun is with me. <laughs> as always. You've seen me go up and down this hill. It's uh, a challenge. Uh, every time I go down, every time I go up, I wish that I won't fall or accidentally slip or something. But yeah, so far so good. It's just a struggle to uh, go up and down, but it's working well. I will show you what I transplanted so far. I placed and repotted. 15 tomatoes they are all Sioux tomatoes from northern wild wildflowers I haven't grew them before uh, so I put some in five gallon bags and some or a few in 10 gallon bags but the 10 gallon is so big so I have to bring the soil here and uh, do them inside the greenhouse look at that 
<laughs> it's so big and it's so heavy so i won't be able to move that again uh, it's getting late but i'll probably do a few more and that's it for today what bond did but I'm gonna find out when I watch the video I'm just loosening the soil so I can uh, plant the, the potatoes uh, that I bought when we went to the big city I bought a big bag although I have potatoes from last year uh, that I'm also going to plant I don't really know what to do with weeds you know it's a pain but I try my best to remove them and pull them but they come back so fast and furious I'm gonna add some manure and then some soil from the pile there and then I'll be ready to plant the potatoes okay I just used bags so it's easier for me to carry them in the garden I think uh, this bed won't be enough. Hmm. I'm, so, I'm too tired to do another bed. Good boy. There's a hummingbird trapped inside the pen we're gonna try to save it oh there's a hole there yeah but i'm gonna make it bigger maybe just uh, remove the, the top it's gonna get tired You can go outside now. Yes, okay. Don't go there. there oh, there we you go. go. <laughs> Hi. Is it time to do your food? Huh? What do you think, Benny? <sighs> I have to change your branches here soon. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday. It's cloudy, but it's not chilly, and I think it's already noon. I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't feel like doing something today, but I have a lot to finish. I haven't had a chance to uh, plant the potatoes yesterday after preparing the bed. Um, I also have to... Um, start preparing the raised bed garden for onions <sighs> so I can do that and also plant more of the uh, root vegetables like beets, carrots and radishes um, yeah my leg is sore from going up and down the hill here I think it's getting warmer here now I'm gonna have to water uh, the 
tomatoes I transplanted yesterday because I haven't had a chance to do that. I finished at 8, 8 p.m. yesterday. I have to start working even though my body is screaming. <laughs> but it's gonna be fine. And uh, once I'm in the zone, I won't be able to stop. And then uh, I'll expect, I should expect my body to get used to it in the next few days. I used to run a marathon in the city a few years back when we uh, are still living in the city. <laughs> but now, of course, it's been years that I, ha that I have not been running. So uh, my body's not used to it anymore. But this summer will be a busy uh, time for me, especially gardening. So uh, I'm excited. <laughs> The pond is still full, which is good, but it's starting to drain little by little. I'm going to show you some of the Egyptian walking onions that I planted around here, popping up, most of them. I planted a bunch, <laughs> so there's a lot popping up. I can't remember the rest. But they're around here too. This one. There's one there. Uh, there's one there. This one. We're gonna check the one that I uh, planted around the root cellar here. Yeah, you can see. It's there. There's this one. This one. This one. This one. It's so dry, I want some rain, <laughs> so they're, they'll be watered. You see that? I have a bunch of perennial seeds here that I threw, but I don't know if this, the birds finished them all. But most of the walking onions are popping up. <laughs> There's one here too on the roof. We'll check again in the next few weeks. Uh, and I cannot wait to see greens <laughs> growing around the root cellar or on top of the root cellar. I'm sure that's gonna happen soon. So today is Philip's turn to help me in the garden. We're gonna have to fix the raised bed garden so I can uh, plant the onions today. I bought some bulbs uh, when we went to the big city last time. Um, I didn't start onions from se seeds this year because it's always easier to buy just bul bulbs and they're not, they're not uh, expensive. Like 350 a bag for a whole bunch of onions. It's the bed that we're gonna fix. And then, before we can even start planting, or before I even start planting, I have to <laughs> clean up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the weed. The soil here is really good under the bed, but all the good stuff is underneath, and then all weeds growing on top. Every time I look at it and uh, I want it to start planting, I have to deal with, deal with the weeds first before I can plant. But look at my leaf. Miley, what are you doing? What are you doing? Miley? Miley? What are you doing? <laughs> you cannot go inside there. That's like bleeding the soil. Yeah. What are you 
moving. It's like in case there's a bull coming up. <laughs> Are you hunting for bulls? Is it time for bull hunting now? I, there's nothing I can do for it about that because there's too much soil in it. Okay, I just uh, looked at the potatoes that I have that I need to plant. And I definitely need at least two beds. These are Norland. So this is uh, 4.5 kg. I have to prepare one more bed and then I'll be uh, able to plant all these. I don't really know how to handle the weeds but I won't be able to plant the potatoes until I remove some of them. And this is just a pain. There's a lot of this growing, the crab grass, I think it's called. I'll show you what I'm doing. But I want to ask you guys how you deal with weeds because this bed is pretty much just weeds. I grew onions here last year and by harvest time they were surrounded by a ton of weeds. I don't like using landscape fabric. I don't know if cardboard will work. The nettles are back but I have to remove them from the bed but there's a lot growing around I think I saw three onions from last year I'm too tired. To be honest with you, I don't know if this is gonna work, but this is the only way I know to prep the bed that has a lot of weeds before I plant the potatoes. So I'm just gonna dress it with manure, chicken manure, and some topsoil from the pile that we have, and then start planting the potatoes. As you can see, I just loosened that soil and turned the weeds upside down and uh, I try to remove as much as I can but oh, there's just a lot of weeds especially this grass that is just unbelievable you cannot really do anything about it unless you cover the whole garden with cardboard a bunch of cardboard to mitigate that problem. I'm not gonna try to deal with it by removing them because that's not gonna do anything. So don't copy me. <laughs> I'm just doing what I can. I hope it's okay if I didn't take a video of me hauling some soil from the pile that we have over there. Fill up three bags with soil. I had to go to the orchard where the composted manure is sitting. And then I have 
it here. This soil is really good, but I'm gonna need more. That's not enough. And I'm gonna need more soil on that other bed too. Okay, I'll take you along with me. We're gonna haul uh, five bags of soil. We're setting up the hose, connecting from the corner of the triangle garden. It's gonna run all the way to the greenhouse so that's temporary until we have a proper setup my hori hori here and make sure they're deep enough But no, no, but okay, I feel so blessed today because it started raining and I just finished putting the potatoes in the beds, two beds. So I'm just gonna top this up with soil. This one has enough soil, so that's good. And I have to put something on top because Bond is digging the, the soil. Thank you guys so much for joining me in uh, planting my potatoes in my weedy garden. It's raining hard now. Well, not hard yet, but it's starting to rain a lot. And I'm hoping it's going to rain all evening. And I will keep you updated, uh, of course, on how the potatoes turns out at the end of growing season. Um, I'm hoping that uh, they will uh, be able to grow while at the same time competing with the weeds because I cannot control them it's just too much anyway thank you so much and I will see you on the next one added more boxes here but I want to add more on that side so 
so it's not gonna be crazy to deal with weeds in the next few months so I have uh, more potatoes to plant that are from last year uh, but they're not ready okay this is really it <laughs> see you guys next time